Miss B bringing you this week's Early Learning Together activity. Today we're going to do an activity that involves counting. Among the skills that preschoolers need to be kindergarten ready are basic math skills. And counting is among the most essential of those basic math skills. And the reason that is so important is because kids learn one-to-one -one correspondence. So if you have five objects, five fingers, each object has a number, one, two, three, four, five. So kids need to understand that concept when they're ready to start kindergarten. And that's why there are so many wonderful uh, books on counting written for children every year. Uh, the library has so many, many different kinds of counting books. They're all really great for practicing counting skills, along with fun stories. So be sure to look for counting books at the library. So the game we're going to play is called Crazy Critter. And what you need to play Crazy Critter is a piece of paper, something to draw with, and a die. If you don't have a die, you can use a spinner from a game board or a, an online random number generator. And so for the purpose of this video, I am going to use the whiteboard and a very large die. Okay, so I usually like to start by drawing the body first. So we have one body right there, one, okay? And then pick a body part like heads. And we roll the die to see how many heads on our crazy critter. So, wow, five dots, five heads. One, two, three, four, five. And then you draw on the five heads and encourage your child to count them along with you as you draw. So here's one head, two, three, four, I think I'll put this one right here, five. Five heads. I'll just add some necks on there. Okay. And then pick another body part. We can say, how about legs. Oh, I just went off the table, but it landed on three. One, two, three, three legs. So here we go. Count with me. One, two, three. Three legs. All right. And let's do arms. Three arms. One, two, three. One for each leg. There's one arm. There's two arms, and here is three. Okay, and how about some eyes? Let's put some eyes on our uh, crazy critter. Okay, oh, four eyes. One, two, three, four. And don't forget also, when you're counting, to use ordinal numbers, which is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, Six. That's math vocabulary that kids need to be familiar with, too, when they start kindergarten. So let us count. Oh, what did I say we were going to do here? Um, was it eyes? <laughs> All right. Let's do eyes. One. So this is the first eye. I'm going to count in ordinal numbers. First, second, third, fourth. And this head's just not going to get an eye. All right. And how about some hair? Four hairs. One, two, three, four. How about this? This doesn't have an eye. I'll give this a hair. One hair, two hair, three hairs, four hairs. All right. And then how about some mouths? You can be really creative with this. Three mouths. One, two, three. And five heads. Hmm. All right. This is the first mouth. This is the second mouth. This is the third mouth. All right. And just to finish this off, we'll add on a belly button. Six belly buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six. First belly button. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And that's how you play Crazy Critter, practicing your counting. If your child wants to do the drawing, that also helps them with their fine motor skills, really developing those fine motor skills are, is important for kindergarten readiness too, as well as counting. 
You can do this as Crazy Cat, Dizzy Dog. During my winter story times, I like to do Silly Snowman. It's always interesting to see a snowman with six snowballs and five stick arms and three top hats. It turns out pretty crazy sometimes. So have fun with Crazy Critter and have fun counting. Bye. Thank you.